Hi, everybody. And I'm here to just go over your um, two part website design and development assignment. Um, this is two parts because in the real world, it is two parts as well. So in the real world, you would have your uh, brand, your logo, your colors, your images, and then you would plan out your SEO for your document and have everything laid out so that you can get feedback, reiterate it, and then go into development with your website. So you're going to kind of mimic that experience um, with applying what you know so far in the class to building an amazing landing page on WordPress. It has to be on WordPress here. WordPress is the number one marketing site in the world right now. Um, so you need to be sure that you are using uh, the tools that are in high demand and not just what's easier. So no Wix, no Weebly, no Squarespace, nothing. Uh, it has to be WordPress. And the reason for that is because WordPress is still the leader in search engine optimization. Um, and it is the number one marketing uh, website tool. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of marketing and driving a lot of traffic, it has to be a WordPress site. They're also very scalable. So a company can scale to get in the thousands and hundreds of thousands with a WordPress site when they can't necessarily do that with those other tools. All right, so your, work, your website is gonna be of, um, it can be a, a real or fake. If it's real, please just give me a message of what you're gonna pick. So a local business and local SEO ideas. So here are some here. Um, and that's where your SEO has to match that it's a local business. So where in the city is it located? It doesn't have to be even be in the city. It can be anywhere in the world. Online businesses where geography does not matter. So if you are interested in a cause or a movement, you want to create an online community, um, an e-commerce store where you're selling t-shirts, supplies, or other things, whatever, um, cooking blog where you're selling maybe uh, subscriptions or recipes or something right so it could be any of these these things where geography does not matter you still have to figure out how to make your site actually found and searchable amongst the hundreds of thousands of other websites that are similar so for this is this first part of your assignment you have to pick something that you're gonna design the page for so what is your business and what is your name okay and then also understand what your conversions are so are they to buy something, sign up, subscribe, join, or what else, what's the main conversion that you need to happen on your site? Pick your branding colors and then create a logo. So every company has at least three to five branding colors and your logo could use um, one of them, two of them, all five of them. In most cases, it only uses a few. We have primary and secondary branding colors. The rest of your branding colors will be used on your website. So pick colors that really coordinate. Use this website right here, uh, colors.co, and that's hyperlinked, to get your color codes and show us what you're gonna do. Map out your critical keywords. I really like using the Uber Suggest tool. They give you a lot for free with searches for keywords. I think that there's a, a few other ones out there that were mentioned in your SEO um, expert session. So if you wanna refer back to that and, and see if any of those would help you out. Most companies pick uh, hundreds of keywords. So I'm just asking you for at least 10 to 20 keywords and phrases that you want to rank for, that you actually think you can rank for starting out immediately. And so these better be the best ones. And they can't be, so if I'm doing a coffee shop, coffee near me is a pretty smart one, um, but you would never wanna rank for just coffee because that would mean that you're trying to sell coffee. I mean, you're gonna rank with everybody or try to compete with the big, huge corporations that rank for coffee. So you need to think of longer tail keywords in order for this to be the most effective assignment for you. So look it up, is it high competition and what is the search volume? So fill this out with uh, 10 to 20. If you are looking to pursue marketing as your career, the more the better. The more you could talk about your strategy, the better you are. But I also need you to be able to use these keywords in your site. That gets a little challenging. So the next step would be to build your WordPress site. So you're going to go to, I'm going to give you the link, but it's um, going to look like this. 
wordpress.com slash free right here. Do you see that? And you can get started with your free WordPress site. They kind of bury this and it's hard to find it, but you can still get started for free. Okay. And you just use the WordPress domain. If you want to do your own blog or something just to practice on and have a custom domain and URL, some people do that as well in this class. It doesn't matter, but the free one, I, I'm not requiring you to pay for anything. So you could just do this one. If you want to, um, have a live site that you want to play with and really learn all the things you can go ahead and, and look at those other options. So let's get started creating our free site. So you're going to go into WordPress, put your email address. So, um, let me see. Andy dot email.etsn.edu. Okay. Choose a username. WDG UTSA. Okay, use strong password, create my account. Oh, see, I guess, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to use one. Let me see if I have another one. Um, Yahoo account, let's see. Oh, great, so coffee shop. So my, um, so if I'm doing a coffee shop, I'm gonna do Stone Oak. And I want that to be in my title because that's really smart. Coffee, up, coffee shop Stone Oak. There we go, I'm gonna go with that one. Not sure yet, I'm gonna get started with my free site. Do you see that? Okay, get, no thanks. Okay, so it's gonna constantly try to get you to upgrade, obviously, because that's a smart site. So um, design themes is where you're gonna go and you're gonna pick a theme. So here's a lot of different themes. The themes are pre-built, so <clears throat> this one looks nice. All right, activate. Yes, activate this theme and then edit my home page. Okay. Get started. Here's where you design your excerpt. That's where if you were to Google coffee shops stone oak, here are this is the, the blurb that would appear. Do you see that? So Merit Coffee, that's what they want for their excerpt. All right, so that is editable <clears throat> right here. And that's where you're gonna squeeze some of your keywords. In your featured image, you would also squeeze keywords in there. So let's say if we pick that one, you would also, um, let's see, insert that. And then I wanna go in here and edit it. And here's where you put in your alt text, coffee shop stone oak, insert, okay? So these are sneaky ways that marketers can do the most complicated keywords for their businesses. So I just wanna see if you, you know how to do these. Uh, this is your he heading, so this is your H1. Do you see how that, that is there? These are your H, those are the H5. All right, and then you'll have H2s. You'll have H3s. And at the end of the day, what you're gonna build is an amazing, high converting landing page. And it's two pages, your website. So it's a amazing, this is like a landing page. And here's what's so neat about it. So look, they have the trust symbols here, which are logos that they use, right? If you were a different type of company, maybe your coffee shop, maybe you would put the um, reviews, right? Or you would put some award. Here's one that I built. Um, with my calls to action, very clear. This is a high converting landing page. I wanted to be sure that you saw my featured customers and they scroll and they move 
And then here are my calls to action, right? So lots of calls to action to get you started, okay? So your two-page landing page, um, here's another one for an event, if you're interested in doing that, all right? So calls to action throughout the site, trust symbols, a case study, um, see easily integrations, and then also this brand was a good brand. Um, here's our experts. So just ways to build that trust with the user. Um, so when you're designing your site, you're gonna have two pages. You're gonna have the landing page and then you're gonna have a, uh, a form. Let me show you. Sign up for free trial. So you're gonna have to have a place where you fill out a form for more information or sign up or make a purchase, a fake purchase. I know it's a little hard to do an e-commerce site for free, but you can do some hacks around that, okay? All right, so um, have fun working on your website and be sure that you learn how to make it link to the next page, the contact page. And if you have any other questions or concerns, we're, we're around. All right, YouTube has been a, a lifesaver though with uh, WordPress templates. Thanks guys.